In this video, we are going to replace a toilet cistern with a rear entry inlet with a flexi hose and also a rear entry tap to fit the flexi hose. This is the only unit I could find at the local hardware store, but it will do the job. Firstly, we should turn off the water source at the mains to ensure we don't end up flooding the bathroom. Next, we should flush the toilet to empty any water from the working area. Then to access the back of the toilet on this unit, we must press in the full flush button and we will see a little slot labelled service, which we can use a flathead screwdriver to wiggle it out. We can then unscrew the rest of the unit this is not the greatest example because this piece is not secure like most other toilets. We can now remove the lid off the back of the toilet and now we can see what we need to be working on. Turn off the inlet valve just to be safe. Then we can unscrew the flexi hose and release the old cistern from the metal bracket that it's holding it. Now that everything has been released, we should be able to remove the old system from the unit. This next part is not necessary for most, but with this example, the hose and tap are smaller than the replacement hose and tap, so the tap has to be changed as well. I'm just applying some plumber's seal tape to the thread so it seals properly. And now I can fit the new tap on it. Now it's time to fit the new cistern in place, attach the flexi pipe to the unit, and then insert the unit into the system. In this example, the metal bracket is already in place from the old unit, so I'm going to use that. Secure the cistern to the bracket and secure the hose to the tap. Now we can turn the water back on at the mains and hope that there is no leaking. Open the release valve and just check if there is any leaks or dripping from any of the new connections and then allow the tank to fill itself up and the cistern should turn it off once it is filled up. If everything is working properly, we can now put the lid back on the top of the toilet and then secure the buttons back into place. We can now flush the toilet to check everything's working properly. And now we have an operational toilet once again. Thanks for watching, I hope the video helped. If it did, please like and subscribe to help the channel out.